Good morning guys. Welcome back to Will and March's vlog and in today's video I am going to clean out our refrigerator. So it's time to let go of all the unhealthy stuff that we have in the fridge. The mister is not here today, so I figured tomorrow's trash day, let's go ahead and get rid of the unnecessary stuff that we have in our fridge. But before that, let's cook breakfast. So what we're having today is, um, or what I'm having today, <laughs> since my husband is not here today, is an uh, egg omelet. We're gonna have sausage egg omelet. So I already have the sausage um, ground up, or actually not ground up, sauteed and cooked. And this is a leftover from yesterday. Uh, let's have some butter. First, we turn on the stove and we have a melted butter already sitting outside. So we'll go ahead and grab some butter. Just kind of swish it up a little bit there. And then we're gonna go ahead and put the sausage. Basically, we're just gonna heat up the sausage and I already got my egg, so we're gonna whisk it. Now, you can also add heavy whipping cream on your egg, or in your egg if you want to, which is I'm gonna do. So I got this Organic Valley heavy whipping cream. So we're just gonna add maybe half an ounce in the egg omelet, or the egg, the beaded egg, or the egg, or the... <laughs> There you go. So, oops. And then we're gonna add it in the sausage. I want it slow cook. I turned my heat down to like a medium low heat because I really just want it to be fluffy and buttery. So the reason why I am showing this to you guys because I wanted to share to you what do we really eat for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. So since I'm going to cook this. Might as well turn on the camera and show it to you. This, make sure you salt it. Okay, just a little bit of salt because the sausage is already salty and the butter is already salty. Another way or another idea, which I did not do, is um, if you already made the butter brown butter, you can also put that in there to add a little bit of taste. It's different. I did that yesterday, but today I'm just going to have butter and sausage and egg. Sit there and cook and then we'll have breakfast. Another option in your sausage egg omelet is to put your grated cheese. I am not gonna put cheese today because I already had cheese yesterday. So that's another option for your egg omelet so you get all that fat that you need for your body. Okay, I believe the egg is done. See all the fat? <laughs> the grease in there and we're just gonna put it in the plate Ugh, i'm afraid that i broke that thing oh looks good see that all right so now i'm gonna make coffee and we're gonna sit down eat breakfast and then we're gonna clean our fridge of course looks who's here when i said taste test <laughs> Hmm, it's good. So I'll go ahead and finish breakfast and then we'll go to the kitchen and let's clean out our fridge. Okay guys, I finished breakfast. I also finished walking my dog and now it's time to clean our fridge. So excuse the mess. So we're gonna see what we have that needs to be tossed out. So of course, you know, this is a leftover. Uh, my sisters came here yesterday, so we had some, um, actually they have some okra and then we have some meat as well. So that's going to be tossed out. We went to uh, BJ's and got some pork bellies. That's going to be a keeper. And then we also got some picanha. This is picanha, cap sirloin steak. So these are keepers. Some leftover fat. This is a keeper. I was craving some grouper. I had um, a blackened grouper the other day. I did not eat the sandwich, I cut it in half, uh, and then I tossed it out as well. And then the grouper, it wasn't really good. So this is 
be going to the trash. So, let me get the trash can here in front of me. The reason why we're doing this, because I don't know, you're probably thinking, what in the world is she doing? Why is she doing this? And this is just a waste of money that we're tossing some stuff in, in the trash. So we have some uh, lemon in the water or lime. This is going to be good in neutralizing your garbage disposal. So that's going to be a keeper. We have cream cheese, spreadable cream cheese. This is no, no good. We have this salsa. We are not going to use this anymore. So that's going to be going in the trash. So we've been on carnivore diet for 11 weeks and counting and we are happy we have some uh, fat fried fat in there so i know it's probably been a while all right on carnivore for 11 weeks and we like it so now it's time to let go of the stuff that we don't need and the stuff that are unhealthy for us we have a leftover meat as well so that's going to trash uh, yep no throw this away throwing it away this is wasabi, but unfortunately this wasabi has soy in it. It has water, sunflower oil, or sunflower oil, sugar, modified food starch, salt. I mean, there's so many things that's in there that is not necessary. I'm not gonna throw this away because when my sister comes here, they'll eat this and this is still good uh, till next year. Excuse me. Hot sauce, this is cayenne pepper, distilled vinegar, salt, santan gum, and garlic. So we'll keep that. Of course, we'll keep the butter. Mayonnaise, this is a olive oil based mayonnaise. Uh, it has canola oil, soybean oil, toss. This is the wasabi that does not have any other ingredients. So we're gonna keep that. It's gonna expire in November, but this has avocado, jalapeno, and, jal and uh, what else? Cilantro, okay. This is a keeper for soy sauce. Since I have Filipino family, we're keeping those, or we're keeping that. We're not gonna eat uh, salad anymore. This has canola oil, and it's still good till August, but since I'm gonna have visitor, and I'm sure they're gonna have, they wanted the salad, so we're gonna keep that. Dijon mustard, is, so that's good. We chose Newman's um, dressing, and make sure you read it, you know. Most of the Newman's dressing does not contain soybean oil. So this is the only dressing that we bought or we buy uh, when we're still eating salad. Most of the dressings that are out there, you will notice that the ingredients and main ingredients is soybean oil. So that is not good. Okay, this is um, cocktail sauce. It's good till November, so we're gonna keep this. There's no other oh, tomato paste. Soybean oil, toss. Oh, we love tacos, so we still have that. Um, Bread crumbs. Ooh, I guess I have to sh shut it. Okay, this is condensed milk. I don't know when is this open, but toss. Okay, so I have some ginger jam as well. It has no sugar, so nine grams of sugar. Toss. This is a jerk sauce. Zero sugar. Now the only ingredients that's in here is scallions, pepper, garlic, onion, pimiento, black pepper, vinegar, thyme, salt, and spices. Chicken broth. Uh, this will be a keeper. Uh, when, when we have COVID, use this honey ginger tea and it's expired, so toss. We don't use that anymore. Breadcrumbs, well, hmm, toss. It's expired. <laughs> it's been there since 2020, oh my gosh, that's bad. Okay, we have garlic, pickled garlic, so that's still good. I know we're not gonna use that much. And then we have brisket, so that's the keeper. Oh gosh, guys, we have some fried rice, uh, toss. All right, leftover sauce, so that's a toss. This is the butter brown butter, so that's a keeper. 
butter, of course. This is a keeper. Got on the butter part. Uh, I made some cake. This is the icing. And I think that's been there for six months. We have, I think this is a beef broth. Oh no, this is the chicken broth. So that's still good. Lemon here that it's probably been sitting here for years. <laughs> no when. Oh my gosh. Uh, oh, this is a beef broth, but who knows how long it's been here. I know this is like a chipotle paste. You know, uh, my husband doesn't like it anyway, so we're just going to toss it. And I have no idea what this is. It's a paste also. We're good on that side. Oh, we have some mango in here. Gosh, and they're cute. Hmm, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it. I don't know. Um, we planted some corn. And we have corn that's been left in there. In the bag. And it has mold. So, toss. Oh, take that. Carrots. Looks like it's growing in there. We haven't used it in a while. 11 weeks, the carrots started multiplying. Oh my gosh, I got to throw my trash bags. It's full. Okay, we're back. So I had to toss. Uh, we have broccoli in here, which is the long stem broccoli, and this is really good. This will be a keeper, so I'm going to put it in this other one because it's cleaner. All right, now this is a half a bag of broccoli. All right, so this is still a keeper. Lime and lemon, that's already dried up, uh, but I'm going to keep it because it's good to clean your sink, your glass door your ring, etc. And also good when you slice it, put it in the garbage disposal. Seaweeds. <sighs> Let's go this side. Okay, so mustard, mustard, so this is good. So we'll put that in there. Another mustard. Good till January of 2023. We have some olives and it's good until 2024. And every once in a while I'll have olives. I mean, it's not like I'm hurting. So we'll just keep that in there. Uh, this is the same seasoning that doesn't have harmful ingredients in. So that's a keeper. How many mustard do we have? <laughs> June of 2023. Okay. Pickles, fig jam, good till 2024. So we're gonna we're gonna keep this, guys. Just forgive me. Just one fig. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's good for you. <laughs> and then pickle relish. So those are keepers. Beef broth. I know this is not a good one, but it's not a bad one either. Uh, it has a little bit of sugar cane, which only one gram of sugar. So it's we're gonna keep that for now. I know I can't give up some most of it yet. Uh, this is nothing. Spicy mayonnaise. Um, Pepper, Greek pepper. I love Greek pepper. So we're going to put that in there and we'll have a Marsala wine. So those are a keeper. So we'll put that underneath here. So look at our fridge. Nothing is left. We're going to have a lot of space for our meat. And I'm going to clean the fridge. But that's what it is, guys. And you know what? We have another fridge on that side. This fridge mostly contains uh, water, drinks, and whatever that we can fit in here as well we have salsa Ooh, i'm gonna keep this because i know when my sisters are here yeah <laughs> sisters whatever kimchi uh this is expired trash coffee beans super oh we have this so my sister drinks coffee um so that's gonna be a keeper i drink a little bit of heavy whipping cream so i put those in my i put that in my coffee uh, so those are keeper uh, margarita drinks. Yeah, we toss in this. I have no idea what, but yeah, that will be a toss. I don't know, some milk. 
I'm gonna find out what that is first. I'm not gonna toss that yet. Stella, I keep the wine. It's been open when I don't drink it all because I use it for cooking. So I cannot get rid of this yet, guys. So. And then I have communion cups with some bread, so that's gonna be kept. Coffee granules, or no, coffee beans, so that is a keeper. Another salsa, I love salsa. 2024, <laughs> we're keeping that. Salsa, uh, we have this Sriracha Ranch Almond. I guess I'll keep that. Water, that's been sitting there for a while. We have this Crusty's Pancake. Oh, I can't get rid of this, guys, yet. If we have cheat day, this is good till July of next year. I'm not gonna get rid of this yet, guys. Okay, don't kill me. I'm gonna put it right there. Have some margarita mix, or we'll keep. Uh, well, it's juice. Throw that away. Um, we'll keep this because for cooking, like I said, I don't know when I'll be cooking. That's gonna be good for cooking. And we have vitamins in here. Beer. Beer. And we have um, sesame seeds, so Toasted sesame seeds is good, not all the time, because when we cook tuna, we sear it with sesame seeds, it's really good. And we have this little maple syrup thing. Coffee is there too. And then we have a bunch of drinks in here. We have the Powerade, or no, Body Armor Light. And this is a zero calorie sugar. I know it's artificial sugar, but every once in a while when you're out and about, fishing, doing stuff. You can just have this drink every once in a while. So right, there you have it guys. I think we clean our fridges <laughs> for the most part. So you see how difficult for me to get rid of some of the stuff that we don't need, but we're still keeping them just in case just in case. So I appreciate you guys watching. Again, we're doing this so, so we can start living healthy and going strong. And I appreciate you guys watching again. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe. Oh, and if you have any other suggestion on what I need to clean the fridge, what I need to do, how I should organize it, please let me know in the description box or comment box, and then we'll do a video on that. Again, thank you for watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.